In franchise mode, you can build your absolute dream team by starting a fantasy draft. Through 50 plus rounds of selections, you'll be battling it out with other teams to put together the best roster in the history of the sport. But which players should you be prioritizing to draft first? Well, this video is going to be going through the best first round picks in Madden 23 Fantasy Draft. Starting with quarterbacks, we of course have the GOAT that is Tom Brady. Even at 45 years of age, he's still the highest rated quarterback in the game. If you want to win the Super Bowl in year one, there is no better option than Brady due to his high 90s accuracy across the board and exceptional awareness. He certainly won't be around for too long, but if you're playing to win immediately, you have to pick up Tom Brady in the first round. If you can't get Brady and you want someone slightly younger with the ability to move around more, then go for Aaron Rodgers. He should be available for most of the first half of the first round, and with some of the best attributes in the game, you're guaranteed an MVP quality player if you go with him. However, if you're planning on playing through franchise mode for more than just the 2023 season, we suggest taking one of these two young quarterbacks, assuming they're still available by the time you pick in the first round, of course. At 95 overall, Patrick Mahomes is the third highest ranked quarterback, right behind Brady and Rodgers, but will probably end up being picked significantly earlier than these two due to his youth and his potential. He's a lot of fun to play as as well. With his huge arm strength, athleticism and his gunslinger archetype, he'll likely be gone within the first five picks. After bringing his team to the Super Bowl last year, Joe Burrow's potential is through the roof. If you can get a hold of him in the middle of the first round, you'll have a winning quarterback for decades to come in your playthrough. He also has pretty good ratings across the board, only slightly less impressive than Mahomes. But his youthfulness and insane trajectory so far in his career suggest that his development could outpace both of them in Madden 23. On to running backs now, we have Derrick Henry. The 97 overall running back can run through just about anybody with his 99 stiff arm rating and his 93 trucking attribute. He will likely be the first running back to be picked in every single draft, so make sure to snap him up if you can as he'll rarely ever fall out of the top 25. Jonathan Taylor is a pick for the long term, but if you're drafting late in the first round and want a dominant running back, then you shouldn't hesitate to take him. He's got elite speed and acceleration, as well as above average power skills. Now it's time for the wide receivers. To kick things off, the best receiver in the whole game, Devante Adams, is one of only four players with a 99 overall rating in Madden 23. If you're lucky enough to have the first pick in round one of the draft, it wouldn't be a bad shout to take this guy. As if you don't, the team with the second pick probably will. With a 99 catch, special catch, catch in traffic and awareness rating, there isn't any receiver even close to being as good as Devante Adams. So he's definitely our top choice for your wide receiver pick. DeAndre Hopkins is a big 6 foot 1 receiver with elite catch ratings. If you throw the ball up to Hopkins, chances are he's gonna come down with it. And that is a very valuable skill to have on your team, as sometimes you may be in situations where you just need to throw the ball up in the air and hope that one of your guys catches it. There is no doubt in my mind that Hopkins should be a top 25 pick in the first round, so if you can, make sure to draft him to your roster. Outside of Devante Adams, there's no receiver more valuable in Madden 23 than Cooper Cup. He has the same 99 rating as Adams in both awareness and catch, but is slightly worse in the physical ratings such as speed, catch in traffic, and special catch. He's a dominant receiver who can catch just about anything thrown at him. This guy will likely be gone in the first 15 picks, so make sure to get him if possible. Tight ends usually end up being drafted in later rounds, but don't be surprised if Travis Kelsey starts to break that trend. His ratings are just too good not to go for early on. At 98 overall, I'd be shocked to see him outside of the first round. Tight ends can often be your go-to target when you need an easy first down, and Travis Kelsey represents the best of the best at that position. So I would definitely snatch him up if you see him available at the end of the first round. Finally, we have the halfback position, and our choice is Christian McCaffrey. Although we haven't seen him fully fit in the NFL for a few years now, it'd be stupid to forget just how insane his skill set is. He's a 100 reception a season type receiver and a running back who can handle 15 to 20 carries a game. For reference, he's basically a wide receiver in a running back's body and his ratings in Madden certainly reflect that. If this video helped you out with your first round picks in Madden Fantasy Draft, then go ahead and watch one of our other Madden tutorials. It's on screen for you now.